a special night it is. Our entire audience is made up of people Gordon Sondland implicated in the Ukraine scandal. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> a special night. That's right. Today was day four of the impeachment hearings. I don't want to say things are bad for Trump, but right now not even Baby Yoda could cheer that guy up. I mean, it's... <laughs> It was a wild day in Washington. Today, we heard testimony from Ambassador Gordon Sondland, who directly implicated Trump in the Ukraine scandal. You could tell it was bad for Trump because he did something he never does. He turned off the TV. And that's when you know it's bad. Yep, Ambassador Sondland basically implicated Trump, Rudy Giuliani, and most of his cabinet. At this point, Trump grabbed his chest and said, I think I'm ready for phase two of my physical. <laughs> Seriously, Sondland named all of them. He was basically the Oprah of witnesses, like, you're going to jail, you're going to jail, you're going to jail, you're going to jail. <laughs> if, you, if you didn't see Sondland flip on Trump today, basically it looked like this. Yeah, yeah, this is... Can we... <laughs> Can we see a photo of, of Gordon Sondland? There he is, there. Uh, some of you may recognize him from his famous line in The Princess Bride when he said, INCONCEIVABLE! <laughs> the bombshell from today's hearing happened when Ambassador Sondland clearly stated there was a quid pro quo. Was there a quid pro quo? With regard to the requested White House call and the White House meeting, the answer is yes. The quid pro quo is really bad news for Trump, mostly because now he has to learn Latin words. I got it. I barely know English. Uh, expecto patronum. <laughs> That's not Latin. That's not. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Uh, right after that, Mike Pence was on the phone like, uh, could you send someone to move all my stuff into the Oval Office? Thank you. <laughs> but later in the hearing, Sondland was questioned about Mike Pence's role in all of this. Now you mentioned that uh, you also had a conversation with Vice President Pence. What did you say to the Vice President? I said, it appears that everything is stalled until this statement gets made. And the Vice President nodded like, you know, he, he heard what I said. Then Pence was back in the phone like, um, on second thought, you can cancel that last request. <laughs> All day long, people were calling Soundless testimony explosive. Explosive. I haven't heard the word explosive so much since Chipotle started selling queso. <laughs> this is going viral. After Sondland noted many times in his opening statements, there was a quid pro quo. There was a, br a brief recess. And you can see the disappointment in uh, Devin Nunez's, Nunez's face. Take a look at this. Why don't we take a five or ten minute break? Thank you. The last time Nunez made that face was when Chili's told him it was going to be a 40-minute wait and then handed him a table buzzer. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, after Sondland dropped a bomb on Trump, uh, this photo of him went, uh, testifying went viral. Take a look. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I can tell exactly what he's thinking there. Swish, swish, bish. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Overall, it was a brutal day for the president. On NBC, Chuck Todd said the Democrats were doing a great job building their case brick by brick. So it sounds like the Democrats are going to get their wall before Trump. <laughs> now, I'm not saying Trump is in trouble, but Vladimir Putin spent the day thinking, we better find new candidates for 2020. <laughs> Start making friends with Ramona from Housewives. Well, millions of people have watched the Trump impeachment hearings, but there are reports that Americans are starting to tune out. Some people say they just don't understand who any of the main players are, so we thought we'd help you out by telling you who they are, along with some trivia about them. It's time for tonight's show, Impeachment Trivia. It's the Tonight Show, Impeachment Trivia. Yeah. First up is Jim Jordan. He's the Republican on the Intelligence Committee. Some trivia about him is he works out by punching holes in the drywall of his office. <laughs> Next is Adam Schiff. He's the chair of the House Intelligence Committee. Some trivia about him is he's legally his own bobblehead. Oh, that... <laughs> Next is Devin Nunes. He's a Republican representative from California. 
Some fun trivia about him is he took his chair to prom. Oh. <laughs> Next is uh, Marie Yovanovitch. Uh, she's a former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. Some trivia about her is her Xbox Live username is Skull Crusher Vape Lord 82. I definitely play Call of Duty with her. Yeah. She's solid. Yeah. Next is Jennifer Williams. She's a veteran foreign service officer. Some trivia about her is she gone girled her last husband. Wow. No officer. I haven't seen him in weeks. I don't know where he could be. And finally, we have George Kent. He's a Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for European and Eurasian Affairs, but you guys already knew that. <laughs> Some trivia about him is, if you squeeze his tummy, something fun happens. <laughs> there you go, guys. There's your impeachment trivia. I hope that helped. Trump actually watched the rest of the hearings while flying on Air Force One. I'm not saying Trump is worried, but at one point during the flight, he opened the door to get some air. <laughs> Well, meanwhile, uh, impeachment hearings were happening. Trump toured Apple's manufacturing facility in Texas with Apple CEO Tim Cook. Now, previously, Trump called Apple CEO Tim Cook Tim Apple. <laughs> but to his credit, Trump didn't make the same mistake this time. He called him Tim Computer. <laughs> Tim Computer, very necessary. I'm not sure Trump's mind was in the right place at the Apple facility. At one point, he started swallowing a bunch of pills until someone said, sir, those are AirPods. Well, earlier tonight was the... I wonder why they were so long. And... Well, those are going to hurt. Uh, I thought it was a deluxe Tylenol. I had no idea. Earlier tonight was the fifth Democratic debate. Going into it, Biden was in first and Warren was in second. But after what happened today, the new Democratic favorite is Gordon Sumland. Oh. Tonight's debate was hosted by MSNBC and The Washington Post. I guess they tried to get the two things Trump hates the most, but... Eric and Don Jr. were busy. Uh, <laughs> well, the Grammy nominations were announced today, and I saw that Lizzo led everyone with eight nominations. <laughs> Lizzo. Which feels right. Which feels right, since Truth Hurts definitely seems to be the theme of the day. Uh, well, this is cool. Michelle Obama was nominated for a Grammy for Best Spoken Word. Well, worst spoken word once again went to this guy. You have never stopped working to improve this country and you deserve a government. <laughs> <laughs> what? What was that? And do what? He just, he just bailed on it. He's yeah. Like, <laughs> he's trying to say deserve. Uh, he's just like, oh, I don't care. I don't care anymore. Can we play that again, Dave? You have that again? Country and you deserve a government. <laughs> Oh, this is exciting. Uh, I saw that Jeopardy will host a greatest of all time tournament in January. But to be fair, they're also hosting a worst of all time tournament. We actually got a sneak peek at it, and it lives up to the name. Take a look. He quickly became the Democratic frontrunner after announcing his third bid for president, April 25th, 2019. Kevin. It was Kevin Hart. No. This series is a spin off of The Big Bang Theory and also a prequel to it. Shannon. What is white men can't jump? No. Nope. In a beautiful day in the neighborhood, beloved children's TV show host, Mr. Rogers, is played by this beloved actor. Oh, sorry. And his name is Mickey Spillane. There you go. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Finally, there's a new male birth control about to go on the market, but it involves men getting an injection into their groin. Meanwhile, women are like, aw, try childbirth. Uh, we have a great show. Uh, uh -huh. on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.